with Bart Brunenberg, this time for real, educating tomorrow's leaders. Just let me get it ready. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, great that so many of you stayed. Uh, I'm representing Jaap Aubring. I'm Bart Bonnenberg, also known as Borgman. Uh, Hannes Data, Tobias Klein, and Marcel Zeelenberg uh, are the members of our team. So um, we sort of thought that we would start a strategy discussion by having, giving an idea of what our opinion for a good goal of a, of a strategy would be. And our strategic goal for Tilburg University might be something like being a top choice for ambitious young men and women to offer these people a transformative educational experience delivered by outstanding faculty and to be recognized as such within Europe and perhaps also outside it. Um, our group's group believes further that Tilburg University should stand for educating tomorrow's leaders, not in an elitist way but more in a way that includes everyone who has the ambition to actually hold a central position in his or her field. That could be managers in all kinds of institutions, lawyers and judges, holders of public office, politicians, also future thought leaders in academia to become professors maybe later themselves. Tilburg University, moreover, is well prepared to actually educate tomorrow's leaders. We have five strong schools in the social sciences that additionally form a perfect match to the region's economic activity at large. We have a beautiful but also underutilized campus, I was very happy with the presentation that was made earlier, where students, social scientists and employers actually can come together in various ways. We have an educational vision that puts Bildung central. And last but not least, Tilburg University I think has the right people. It has the right people both in terms of academic talent but also in terms of support staff. Our strategy or our proposal for a strategy actually consists of four elements that actually reinforce each other. The first one of these is the following. We believe that because we're an educational institution, we should actually attract and retain extraordinary classroom and research talent. Why? Well, with increasing transparency about teaching quality, it's easy for students to look up which are good universities. And ambition students actually being increasingly willing to consider options farther from home, the long-term success of our university actually depends disproportionately on our teaching quality, hence this sort of convex line sloping upward, upward. teaching quality on the horizontal axis, you know, our fate uh, uh, on the vertical axis. Um, students remember inspiring teachers. We lost some of our best actually recently and it becomes increasingly hard to find suitable replacements. To recruit and retain talent, we should acknowledge, appreciate and retain our best professors and offer a singularly productive and fun environment to work in. Second, we should continue to develop our campus. Our campus and its connection to its regional economic activity. Right? That, that, you know, that includes first to develop the campus in terms of teaching facilities, not only new facilities, but probably also update uh, the facilities in our existing classrooms to better foster dialogue and student engagement. At DIAS, we actually have already some excellent examples of how it is possible, even for groups as large as 80 people, to build environments that are actually very interactive learning environments, and we believe this should be uh, developed across campus. Second, our link to the environment, I'll link to the, 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 uh, the region around us, actually I think gives us meaning. We can be academically excellent, but our meaning sort of comes from the activities that we, that we sort of uh, um, uh, explore uh, regionally. Our campus should become a lively knowledge and recruiting hotspot to, for instance, the Brainport region, but something local I think is very important. Third, I believe that we should uh, uh, commit to actually making our existing large-scale projects a success because our reputation hinges on it. So we need to make sure that data science actually and data science initiative becomes a resounding success. We need to integrate it with our teaching and research. We have to implement our education vision. 
and I believe that we have to make the best initiative work. All these are non-trivial tasks that will require a lot of our attention uh, going forward. Future students and faculty actually will consider us and they will consider us on the basis of us fulfilling these projects. So these successes actually count. Last but not least, we need to get the word out. For students to choose us, they need to know who we are and what we do well. There is a big positive difference we feel in our group between perceptions about Tilburg among those who know what the university and the city has to offer and those who have not looked at it in detail. To show what we have, we should redesign our website, market our people and campus, and uh, uh, organize galvanizing events that bring together the student body, support staff, and scientists. Marcel Zeilenberg has an idea for starting a closing of the academic year event. He explained it to us. It involves beer in July. We, improve, we approve. In closing, we believe that 18 years after the Bologna Agreement of 1999, Tilburg University finds itself in a sort of adolescent university system in Europe where reputations are forming but not yet formed. University reputations, in fact, are formed, we believe, by excellence, by belonging to the best. We don't set these rules, we believe, but our students actually do. Our four strategic initiatives uh, uh, are feasible and we believe that they will make ambitious students more likely to spend the next three to five years of their formative years of their lives with us. Thank you very much.